In this video, we will try to paint the mower deck on a John Deere riding lawnmower or lawn tractor. This is definitely not a how-to video. Instead, it's a quick paint job and explanation. Although it's not a how-to, let's start with the why. When looking at the deck itself, you may notice that there are parts of it that have been spray painted black over the yellow color. Let's look a little closer. We can see there are places that the yellow paint has peeled off. There's also patches of rust and yellow paint that is still on but bubbling up. The paint was scraped off initially with a cold chisel and metal file. Again, the black paint on the deck is likely where spray paint was used over the rust or bare metal. Once the initial scraping of loose paint and rust was finished, the deck was removed and sprayed off with a power washer. We will demonstrate the deck removal in another video. When that video is ready, it will be linked in the description. After being sprayed down, we can see the areas of rust extended well beyond the bubbling paint that could be seen. This demonstrates how the rust spreads underneath the bubbled paint. It is likely that once the paint bubbles up, the water can get trapped between the bubbled paint and the bare metal. As time passes, enough water will stay in the bubble and keep spreading the oxidation or rust. So although this is a quick and dirty paint job, the goal was to help delay the spread of rust over the mower deck. Once the mower deck was dry, a paintbrush was used to paint it green. Please keep in mind that this is not the process to properly repaint the mower deck. A proper paint job would include removing the deck, all the components, then stripping down all of the paint to bare metal. Once everything is stripped to bare metal, a coat of primer would be applied and then a finish coat. As a side note, a lot of bigger hardware stores will have different brands that market some of their colors as tractor colors. I find myself using Rust-Oleum paint a lot. At the time of recording this video, it wasn't available in John Deere Green. In this video, we're using John Deere Green from the Rust Stop brand of paint. Seen here is the top of the mower deck covered in John Deere Green. The bottom of the mower deck was also power washed and dried. As seen here, it looks to be in good condition and may have been repainted in the past. The same paint and brush were used to cover the bottom of the mower deck. Here is the top of the mower deck drying. At this point, you'll probably notice the paint was applied too heavy. By that I mean the second coat was applied before the first coat dried. With these thick oil-based paints marked toward rust, I've noticed that they really need each coat not only to dry but also to cure before applying the next coat. I've also noticed that it takes 3 days to a week for the paint to truly cure. If the paint is dry, even if 1 or 2 days have passed, the paint isn't totally cured. And if the paint isn't totally cured when applying another thick coat over it too soon, it'll create an orange peel texture. Also remember that while curing, paint releases some vapors and goes through chemical changes. That being said, at this time, I needed this mower to be working and on the lawn as soon as possible. Now that the mower deck is painted, we'll take a step back and look at the fender. You'll notice that on the side of the fender, the green paint is on but is bubbling up and rusted at a few points near the bottom. You'll also see the same bubbling on the bottom edge of the fender on the other side. In this view, you can see that when the paint was scraped off from the side of the fender, it hid rust along the whole edge of the fender. You can also see the paint starting to bubble up on the corner of the footrest. This rusted edge was also seen on the other side of the lawn tractor. A quick coat of green was used over the edges of the fender. Since I saw bubbling of the paint in the corner by the footrest, I wanted to see what condition it was in. After removing the plastic piece, these are views as seen after I scrape some of the paint and rust away. If the rust continues to spread, it's likely because the water is getting trapped under the plastic pieces like it does under the bubbled paint. If that happens again too quickly, I'll likely remove the plastics permanently. The holes that remain can be used for drainage. Another quick coat was then applied with John Deere green and a paintbrush. Now when looking from the bottom up, we can see some of this rust. This rust on the bottom facing the ground was also scraped. The bottom of the footrests were also quickly painted. The plastic pieces were then reinstalled. Here's a view of the wheel. All of the wheels seem to be in good condition. I just brushed a quick coat of yellow on the outside of the wheels. Here are some views of the painted mower deck reinstalled on the lawn tractor. The new green dried slightly darker than the original John Deere green. 
it is also slightly darker than the plastic. This may be because the paint for the lawn tractors could be a little bit more saturated or bright green. It could also be that the original paint was closer matched to the color of the plastic. That being said, at this point, I needed the mower to be working on the lawn as soon as possible. Although this was rushed, I'm okay with the results since it would help delay some of the rust from spreading. Thank you for watching.